Okay, I today would like to talk to you about going after your goals, setting out, setting goals and going after them. You know, for years I've been taught to that setting goals is great, that the more specific the better, and maybe it can work for some, and that's how, how I've been trained, you know, how I've been coached before and stuff, and maybe it works for some people, but for me, I'm already self-motivated, right? And um, what I've noticed also when I was recruiting accounting staff for my clients was that the newer generation, the kind of the post-college with some experience um, people, accountants specifically that I've seen, I mean, of course, not all um, by any means are that way. And there's a number of people who are very motivated. But what I found was that many sit and wait until somebody tells them what to do. They're not motivated to take on your responsibility, not motivated to do something better, do more, try harder. I'm not sure why that is. And I've actually brought this up to my coach and my therapist several times uh, last year because I couldn't understand that because I was always very, you know, self-motivated and stuff. And I couldn't understand how people could, could be not motivated to move forward, to grow, to do more, to be better. I'm not saying that one way isn't better than the other. Maybe there is a way to be free, feel free, feel like you're not wasting your life um, in both ways. I can certainly see that because I was always a type A, well, not always, that's not true. For the past 20 years, and if you listen to my third TEDx, you will understand why. For the past 20 years, I've been a go-getter type A, slightly OCD, very career obsessed. But, you know, thanks to my husband, I haven't really become what I was destined to become, which is, which I'm grateful for. Um, you know, when we met, I thought he was unambitious. It took me a while to realize that his ambition were about life and family first and work second. And I think it has to do with ego, with understanding of what's really important in life when you can actually live like that. And I'm, you know, I'm a little jealous because I have to work hard to not allow this type A go-getter side of me take over my life and, you know, forget about what really mat truly matters in life. And so really... It's been interesting to see how the younger generation, it seems like, are a little bit more career driven, but actually the priority has shifted to more life driven. Like um, I've, I talk to a lot of folks and um, especially those who are a little bit younger, I notice that they're more into work-life balance, even though I personally believe that it doesn't exist. I personally believe that work-life balance is a myth and we create that balance and it's never a work-life balance. It's life balance or there's no balance whatsoever. And so I've noticed that the people who are in their 20, like late 20s are more into life, enjoyment, fulfillment, than career growth, um, working 78 hours a week, you know, really enduring um, or putting their bodies through um, you know, that type of abuse, work abuse. I found that it's less and less common. We know when I went to college and then I uh, was getting a job, it was m more uncommon to do that, to be that, right? Everybody wanted to go first and wanted to do this and this and this and the next thing. And that's what certainly I've done for the past 20 years. But oh, about last year, I realized that life is not about that at all. Life is not about any of that actually. And thanks to my husband, I actually got myself um, to think right and to really understand what matters more than anything else. And, you know, certainly watching um, my dad battle cancer and really understand, forced to understand what really matters in life, kind of closer to the end of his life, really supported me in doing the right thing and really being a present parent present human 
and I'm grateful for that for sure. But um, this is something that we now see things changing in the workforce and it will continue to change, I believe. Let me know what you think below this video.